trophy. That's that's the lift, isn't it? That's the the buzz you get from that. And you'd say we didn't you know we didn't play our best all the way through the game. Does it matter? No. <laughs> <laughs> does, does, that, does that change anything though for him, Zach, in terms of we've gone to extra time so there's more minutes for some players, perhaps the, the game plan in his mind would have been, and we've all been there, we've all, we've all thought it, 60 minutes, like we said before the game, be 3-0 up at 60 minutes, bring certain players on for more minutes, does, does maybe how the game panned out change what Thomas Tuchel does for Saturday? Uh, maybe slightly. I think it's obviously probably going to be recovery tomorrow for players, especially for players like Kai, uh, Trevor Chaloba, who again, as we keep mentioning, was fantastic throughout it. I was waiting for him to maybe have to take the next penalty <laughs> if it came down to it, Rudiger. So these guys getting not just 90 minutes, but 120 minutes in their legs. Maybe recovery might be a little bit longer, or, or but at least Thomas knows they can make 90. They can make 90 when it comes down to it on um, on Saturday. And then for guys like Mason Mount and for, for um, Christian Pulisic and the other guys that came on, they were getting even longer than just the half an hour that might have happened. So now that we've won it, it's a win-win. If we'd lost, maybe a little silver lining if needed. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I guess it works for some players as well, Pat, doesn't it? Because some players need more minutes than others. I know that sounds like a really silly thing to say, but some players need more minutes to get ready and some players don't. Some players are just... Like Azpilicueta, we said that. He came on with, what, 40 minutes, including extra time. But ultimately... He'll be ready Saturday. Yeah, but you all want it. You all want that sort of time. Um, and I've got, the more of them have got it with that extra half hour, we said that is probably a bonus. In the longer term, that's probably a bonus because we will probably reach that mid-season form a wee bit earlier because of that. Can I go to something you've not asked me about completely here? Right. See, as an ex-player, and I only had one shot out my whole career, right, and it was a kind of pre-season Spanish tournament we played in. But if you score on that penalty shootout, everyone forgets the second one, the third one, the fourth <laughs> one. They were they were stressful. <laughs> and if you look back at some of them, Aspie's penalty was an absolute cracker, wasn't it? And I still, I love Mason's penalty there. Yeah. It was genius, the confidence and the belief. I've got to say, Rudiger's penalty. That, that's the one that wins it for us in the end. And he's done this really unusual thing of running straight up to it. And the keepers, never that never happens. You always go to the side one way or whatever, and the keeper tries to angle his body by your body shape. But when you run up, the keeper's like, what? <laughs> and he didn't move. And that was the penalty, the, the, the score penalty that won us for it. So, well done, Tony. Mm. Absolutely. We talked about it before the game. That was a big penalty. That was massive, massive pressure. Uh, and it was a cracker of a penalty, as were the rest of them. Christian Pulisic was nice as well, Zach, wasn't it? It feels like it's going to be a really big season for Christian Pulisic because hopefully he's coming into this without any injury issues. He's been dreadfully unlucky in the last couple of years. Even even last pre-season, he didn't have it at all, did he? Because he got the injury in the FA Cup final. So this feels like it could be a big year for him. He's come off the back of a, a good summer with his with his national team as well. So I'm very excited to see what he could do. And he, I thought he played well tonight as well. Yeah, indeed. And he also got a nice little bit of holiday as well, whereas Mason and some of the guys that were at the Euros, Jorginho, Emerson, only had maybe a week or two off. Um, for him, the, the, the US tournament was done quite early on, so he had a good rest period because he was at times kept having that, that injury with his hamstring kept popping up. And it does feel like a, a season for him where he can uh, kind of go onto that next stage for Chelsea, try and be, uh, become that, that star man for them. He's going to have to fight. He's going to have to fight for sure, but as I said, we mentioned earlier, the, the beauty of Chelsea's squad at the moment is that it's got such squad depth. He will be given a chance. It's about him to take. Uh, it's up to him to take that chance. So now going on to Saturday, then Pat, because I'd imagine this isn't. Uh, unfortunately, the, the boys won't get a night out tonight to celebrate in Belfast. It will be very much back to business tomorrow morning. But in terms of that, now will it be a case of uh, a bit of a cool down tomorrow? Will, will plans in training change and preparations for Saturday change because this has gone the distance? T tiny little bit, yeah. But you have to remember how many players played the 120, and there weren't that many that played the actual entire 120. So it affects some players and others less so. I mean, they all, all won't do the same amount of training. But you're, you're ready now and you, you know that you'll be capable of getting through the 90 minutes. To be honest, a big help's a home game. It's a real help because, you know, you, if you get the home game, we'll probably control most of the ball in this. We probably will. And if we do that, it's much easier. Mm. It'll be harder for Palace. They'll be chasing, chasing, chasing. So that all, all those things are in our favour, and that's a really, really good thing for us as well. It's lovely to see Jorginho getting back as well. That helps us a little bit because when we need a rest, there's different ways of having a rest in the game. One of them is just to metronomically do the ticker tacker stuff and hold it for a while because that's very restful. It's not restful if you're chasing it. <laughs> it's horrible if you're chasing it, and he can do that. So that, all those things. Are, 
the, the little pieces are beginning to glue together and it's looking a little bit better. So, yeah, some will get a rest, some will get less of a rest. I think we'll be ready. I definitely think we'll be ready for the weekend. Probably the only sour note this evening, Zach, was the fact that Hakim Ziyech uh, came off with a shoulder or an arm injury. Again, reports at the moment we're not quite sure on, but we'll keep you posted on the fifth stand-up as soon as we know. Uh, he, he did. He, he was wearing a sling towards the end of the game, and I believe at full-time as well. It's, it's almost like a full sling now, so he's kind of resting that. That's disappointing because he's had such a good pre-season. So hopefully it won't be long for him to be out. But as we've said before, the strength and depth the squad have got, that we've got within the squad now it's still only five that go into three, isn't it? So that that's that's now a, a different proposition for the manager to think of for Saturday. Yeah, it's gutting because he was he had such a great preseason. I mean, how many goals we mentioned? Six was it in the end? Yeah, um, and that's not even including the assist that he may have also got as well. So yeah, it is really gutting. It did feel like he was about to you know, kind of take that next step uh, in the in the Chelsea squad, um, but. As we have, yeah, we've reiterated several times, the depth that we have there, it's not the... To another team, it could be a huge blow. It could be their star player out. For us, we are able to just bring in a Mason Mount, a Christian Pudisic, Callum hudson Odoi, whatever it may be, Kai Havertz, Timo Werner. Um, and and it's, it is annoying and it's sad because he does bring in some, uh, different qualities to what the other players have, but hopefully he'll be able to come back even stronger. That's exactly it, isn't it? He's... We're so blessed to have so many good players in that position, but Hakim Ziyech starts in 19 other Premier League sides, doesn't he? So in terms of we have that conversation now, who starts ahead of him? Christian Pulisic maybe because he came on for him. Mason Mount, does he come in? Like Zach said, does, does Callum hudson Adoy move further forward? What would you do, Pat? Do you, know, do you know the other thing, just before we go off, Ziyech, I think this is one of the few times, two or three days before a game, since he's came here, we're thinking, well, he's starting. Mm -hmm. It's one of the few times it's actually happened. And then what happens, he does this, and it looks, I mean, I hope it's not dislocation, but it does look like damage to his shoulder. I don't, I've no idea how you go across it, <laughs> and, I, and I don't mind. I really don't mind. Um, we may have another player in by then. That changes everything again. And it really does change everything again. Um, and I, I'm really comfortable with whatever he does. We, we sat the, the second half of last season, we did and Dan did and... And when they came and the teams came, we all just went, yep. And it's it changed every other week. We keep on saying it and we don't even question anymore. Um, and if we did before, just what Zach was saying there, if we don't, we, we won't now. Mm -hmm. If you bring Kep on for that, um, that's the stroke of absolute genius to do that when it works. Um, and the confidence that the players will get. Because see, do you know even if, here's a wee secret, right? See, even if the manager's not 100% sure, See if he gets it right all the time. The players believe he's 100%. <laughs> yeah. We are all behind that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he knows. <laughs> and you get this invincibility cloak around you. And I think he's got this invincibility cloak at the moment with the players. It's a fantastic thing we've got. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely love that. And like you've already mentioned there about, you know, uh, Akim Ziyech, he's, he's coming into form for the... For, I suppose, like Thomas Tuchel said in his pre-match press conference yesterday, in terms of, you know, you've got to remember it's the first season for, for Ziyech and Havertz and Werner last year. They've got time to settle, times... Two of them have had COVID and injuries, etc., and stuff like that, spells out of the team. Now you've got players that come back and fight, find in form before the season starts for the first time. Probably the biggest... Uh, the biggest example of that is Callum hudson Adoy. You know, Cal Callum found it at times last season to hold down a starting berth. Now I think we're all having a conversation with, if he starts at right wing back, he's been doing a fantastic job there pre-season. He could play as a 10, he could play as a left wing back. We saw him against Tottenham in pre-season as well. He, he looks like someone now, Zach, that's really going to make a push this season to say, wherever I'm playing, I'm, I'm holding it down. Yeah, it's weird to think Callum, in terms of this squad, is probably one of the most experienced ones there. He was there before playing properly before Mason Mount was there, Tammy Abraham, Rhys James, back in um, the, the Sari days. Uh, and he's, yeah, he's really pushed on. I mean, ov obviously, sadly, he has had some injuries that he's had to overcome. But he's, it looks like he's got away from him. He's got his explosiveness back, and he does need to now kind of push on and, and, and get into that first team. As we mentioned, there's a few different positions for him. His versatility allows him to maybe play more games than he would normally. Normally, he was just stuck to one position. So hopefully, coming the with obviously Rhys James yet to kind of feature for Chelsea in pre-season or in in the game today, you kind of th th uh, you think that Saturday coming, I would be very surprised if he wasn't starting at right wing back. Absolutely agree. Well, we're now well and truly underway in the 21-22 season, um, and you can see what's coming up on the fifth stand for us over the next couple of days. Rangers women host Chelsea FC women. Emma Hayes side in pre-season for any action on Thursday from 7:25, and then Saturday. Thomas Tuchel gets his Premier League season underway. Matchday Live with us 
from 1.55 on Saturday, so make sure you join us for that. So there you go, the trophy cabinet has another piece of silverware to add to it. Kings of Europe, Europe is blue, whatever you want to say, <laughs> Chelsea got it done. Thank you for watching, enjoy your evening.